Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Time to get on to the final rack. This one here is going to be similar to this, except this dropped two feet over an eight foot span. This is gonna drop two feet over a four foot span. And then this one was only eight foot long. This one's gonna be 15 feet long. The basic framework is completed now. I'm planning on continuing with these blocks all the way across. The lower panel will end up sitting on this red block, but I'll have up to five layers of these running all the way across for weight. And then in the back here, I've got a whole bunch of concrete been painted. It's part of a pony wall that I'm going to be taking out. And that's where I'm going to put all of the concrete is behind here. And then it'll have two by four runners over the top of it, just like that, kind of like a walkway. So it'll all be hidden when I'm done. And that's why I put those little two by twos down below because they'll act kind of like anchor. I'll have weight on this end. I will have a whole bunch of weight on this end too. Here it is with some additional cross bracing in place. Remember that real warp board I showed you yesterday? That's it right there. Along with the last other one that I had left. Oh, let me show you something else. What I wanted to show you with this, we're really putting it through the paces today. I've got the car charging and the convection oven running. So the batteries were at 100%, but now I'm drawing 2700 plus watts and I will be for at least the next half hour and I'm checking my solar input right now which was almost nothing with the batteries full this is the first real good workout I've given this thing with all the panels connected and a large draw at the same time this the Pecron is rated for up to 3600 watts with peaks above that so we're still way shy of what its capability is however if I quit talking for a minute you'll be able to hear how much noise it makes doing both of these functions at the same time still pretty quiet could you imagine what a gas power generator, what it would sound like if I was standing this close with it running and doing the same thing? Here are the individual inputs. I expect this number to go up even a little bit higher. I'll check it again later. Here is all the prep work for where the lines are going to run. They'll come from the panels all the way in the back right up to where they're going in the RV. Here it is with all the tape applied, ready for the panels. Okay, it's time for my connections. I have both the female sides on the low end, both the male sides on the high end. So on this one, I'm gonna take the female and hook it in the male. Now I have the two panels tied together. I have a female and a male, or a positive and a negative. What I have here, MC4 to XT60, extension so i'll transfer over from mc4 to xt60 here 
here it is those two I just hooked up they're doing better than the other two on the shallower angle so the steeper angle ones the brand new ones are kicking out 976 versus 913 still early though here it is with the block in place I do have enough to go one more layer but I want to leave a little bit of a gap between that top layer and the bottom one so let's see what that gives us Here, all of these cables have the sun shining on them right now. This is not the finished product. I just have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do here as far as finishing it, these off. I have a bunch of this foam and I also have a bunch of brick. And then, of course, the neighbor still has a lot of this red brick too. So I'll figure this out and I'll show you what the finished product does once I get to that point. Okay, here we are. Everything just freshly hooked up, right about peak time of the day. And those batteries are approaching full, 94%. So very soon, they'll be topped up. This is that little pony wall that's got to come out so I can fit an AC unit in that window there. So I've got to finish properly securing these panels here. I found a couple of spools of this small diameter metal wire in the bargain bin at the local hardware store. And that's what I use to affix this panel to the post. I had some heavier gauge here left over, like picture wire. And I'm not expecting a whole lot of wind back here since I've got the wall right there blocking most of it. It's gonna come off of these top panels. That's why I left this space here to relieve some of the wind that'll be blowing down from the north. But I have multiple positions now where I've got metal wire retaining the top edge of these panels. So. I think that'll be enough in their current location. And then this one is going to be my spare. So I'm going to take that out, disassemble that rack, find a place to stash that one. My options as to where to stash this thing were kind of limited. I figured here was as good a place as any because I have no idea if I'll ever need this or when. It could be years or longer. Here it is with the old framework removed. I did my first check. These are doing more than 200 watts less than these ones right now, just because of the angle of the sun. Winter rolls around December, January, that might make a big difference, but definitely the ones that are more vertical are performing far worse than the ones at a greater angle. Coming up next, I'm going to be removing this wall. Then I can install the backup AC right there in this window. But I need to use this concrete as an anchor before I can finish that up. So it all goes step by step. So if you want to see that, think about subscribing if you haven't already. Hope to see you again. Take care now. Bye bye then. <laughs>